Alrighty, boys, today we are heading to the dealership with a truckload of trucks. That is funny to say, but we actually ordered 30 new GMC pickups. I've got two of them on mine right now. Mako's got two, and we've got a lot of transporting today. These trucks are so heavy that his F-450 is bogging down right now. He can't get over like 25 miles an hour. I feel really bad because we're going to have to pass him in our semi. It's our diesel power. Move it or lose it. There we go. We got a lot bigger engine than him, so it makes sense. But yeah, today we're going to be bringing in 30 2023 uh, GMC AT4X, which is like the new edition GMCs that they have. They're really standard pickup trucks, but they do have some cool tires on them. We got a uh, white color, we have a black color, and then we have a blue color. So they're pretty standard colors for a dealership. But welcome back to NPC or NP Customs, which stands for no pro customs okay if you guys didn't know me and mako are no pro and it's a customs shop so yeah here he is pulling in look at that thing what a beast that is mako's driver so his daily driver is an f450 pretty clean truck hey mako stop right there man we gotta load them uh, out front here but we got some new trailers here we got two triple axle trailers uh the semi i bought as well so we got we got some nice trucks we got a nice transporting loadout today Alrighty, yeah, let's watch you unload this beast. Go ahead and fire up the headlights, too. I think those turn on when you turn the car on. Whoa, look at those. Those are nice. And it's not very loud. We're going to put some aftermarket exhaust on some of the trucks, but they're pretty quiet for them being V8s. I think, uh, hey, what engine's in this thing? Uh, we got the 6.2 liter V8 in this. Okay, so it is the bigger upgraded package uh, V8 engine because you can get like the 5.4 uh, or something. There's a smaller uh, V8 5 liter, so... I don't know. Uh, Mako, we are uh, no pros, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back the truck off like a truck. Look at that. No problem at all. All right, so my job basically today is, is we're going to organize all the trucks by category. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start bringing over the white ones, which is, uh, I think this is just the factory color. Most AT4s have this color on them. And then uh, Mako's also going to bring over the blue ones. So we're going to organize all those. And they're all going to be organized, um, and uh, yeah, it should be a lot better for the dealership. That way, when customers come in, I mean, they're kind of all the same, but then if we need to do a test drive, we got the categorized by uh, the features they have. All right, let's back this one in. I want to make them look super neat, so I think we'll line them up as straight as possible. Let's see. Right about there looks good. Looks about equal, but look at these trucks. The front end of the grill is very, very mean looking. Uh, unfortunately, for those that don't like toolboxes, we did get toolbox options on this truck. Uh, the Champion Toolbox, I think we're going to remove them, though. Mako's going to do a lot of prep and delivery on these things to get them ready to sell. So, yeah, we might remove them. I'm not sure, and then we'll probably put bed covers on. It's just they're not practical. I ordered them just so we could have them for service because they needed toolboxes for customers that need them. And then we got a couple of other unique trucks in there. We got the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon Tracked. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of unique trucks, but... Now we actually have like a dealership line going. We are a dealer, official dealer for GMC. So it, it'll be nice. We can kind of get more customers in just for those daily driver trucks or uh, leases, whatever they may want. So it's kind of nice. But yeah, we're going to rip on back to the, uh, this, we call it the auction house. But uh, in reality, it's like another dealer. We get it for cheaper. Uh, they're kind of like the first party and then we're the second party dealer. And yeah, that's kind of how it works. They're very, very friends with uh, the manufacturers. They get them allocations a lot earlier so they get to like get the trucks a lot earlier when they're built so it's kind of a good deal but all right uh let's see where is it at we got clever motors here all righty perfect i think mako is loading them up and yeah so we got a ton of nice ones over there look at those so those are the all black package trucks i think those are the best looking personally i love an all black on black rim truck and uh yeah all right we're gonna go ahead unload the ramps here because when we load them, we can't really drive them on or drive them off like we did on loading. But here, check it out. The all-black AT4X 6.2 liter V8. I think this thing is great. We got the, the red logo, GMC, and the recovery hooks. Looks sweet. And then we have a 10 of each color. I didn't tell you guys that. But we have 10 of each. Mako's good to go. Mako, I'm going to get the uh, white ones ready to go. And then I'll meet you back at the shop. Just line them up uh, nice and neat. Maybe in front of the white ones. Because we're going to line them up uh, 10 by 10. So... All right, I'll meet you back at the dealership. All righty, there we go. We got the first one, or should I say the third one, loaded up. We've already got a load down. And then, yeah, we're going to load up the third and the fourth one, ready for transport. Uh, what's nice is we actually have this dealer key. It's a new feature that GMC dealers get. And what it does is it basically unlocks 
any vehicle that is under your dealership's name because you know we can't just go to other dealers stealing their trucks but we can basically walk up to any truck it's a universal key pretty neat feature i'm not gonna lie saves us a lot of time having to deal with keys and yeah then obviously when we sell it to a customer they get their own set of keys and stuff so it's pretty cool but i like this new feature i can literally lock it all with one button there we go and then i'll show you how we put the ramps up here so we gotta load them up they're actually hydraulic and there we go perfect look at that and then we're good to head up but yeah we've got a lot more to transport today we got our cousin larry coming down he's gonna help us out he's got a nice big semi and trailer so he's gonna do some some towing for us because i'm gonna probably do some more organization at the dealership kind of get the trucks looking nice probably put some uh, out on the highway that way customers can see that we're a, a new dealer for gmc and yeah i gotta tell you guys about something special other than that though I started a TikTok page, Ian Games underscore YouTube. So if you guys could go drop a follow on that, go like all the TikToks, I would appreciate it a ton. And the, basically the idea from there is, is post the funniest parts of the video. So if you guys could go check that out, you know, let me know what you think. What do you think is funny in our videos? And maybe we'll post a TikTok or two. All right, let's get the straps undone here. Perfect. All right, what do you think? Should we unload it the hard, hard way or should we, you know, actually be a good person and put the ramps down? uh okay let's go with the hard route yep this is probably not good for the truck suspension but you know it'll be all right there we go we didn't really actually i think the bottom has skid plates on it so we don't have to really worry about anything scraping so that's kind of nice there we go let's back it in i just want to line these things up mackle got the blue ones going on over there we're probably gonna have to fix them you know he he kind of rushes when he's unloading stuff but he, he gets the job done he's already done more loads than us he's already a load ahead of us which is, is awesome. He's going to be our shop hand for now. And he's going to be the head service department manager. And we got to get a, a workshop built for him. Send it. There we go. Look at that thing. This thing unloads perfectly. But yeah, we're going to build a shop for Mako in the near future. There we go. Crank it over. This truck is so easy to maneuver. And it also has this new feature that is called super cruise so what you can do is you click this button and the truck is autonomous that is right this gmc is fully autonomous to a standard i think it's like advanced lane keeping control but it is very very nice so yeah anyways new feature for 2023 gmc at4s there's mac who's already back we haven't even left yet but our next job is we're gonna go pick up some of the black gmc's those are probably gonna be the best sellers i just i noticed that like everybody likes the black on black package i think it is cool too this is all like matching the emblems are red it really stands out i think it's sweet so we're gonna pick a couple of those up and those are gonna go around the side we're gonna go put those out on the highway for promotion so that's what that's gonna do uh i'll let you guys know once we get back to the dealership i'll pick up my camera again and you know we'll, we'll film the parts of us setting up the new promotional spot at the dealership so yeah we'll see you guys in a few minutes we're gonna get some work done you know, transporting is pretty boring. So, yeah, we'll see you guys once we get a little bit closer to getting these trucks back. We got a lot more to go. All righty, here is the finished product of all the trucks back at the dealership. And it is looking awesome. I mean, look at this place. It's actually looking like a dealership. So, anyways, I categorized it all by color here. We got blue trucks on this side. And then we got the, the black and the white ones over there. So, these are the only colors you can order with the AT4 package. And yeah, I think it looks great. We've got 10 of each. So uh, I think we're going to sell each of them for about 85000 out the door. So 2023, brand new truck, 85000 uh, MSRP is like 80000 And then we got to add like tax on it. So all that other fees. And yeah, there are all the trucks. I think they're looking good. I'm going to do a little bit of a run through though, individually of just one of the trucks because you guys haven't really seen the interior. So anyways, we got some Goodyear tires on here. These are just the factory road tires, but I think... What we're going to have Mako do is swap them out, put some giant like mud tires on here. I feel like just as an AT4 truck, it's got to compete with like a Raptor or one of the bigger trucks. So we're going to put some big mud tires on here, do all the fancy stuff. But anyways, over here, what we got is we got a nice full panel touchscreen. Look at that thing. It basically controls everything. We have minimal switches. We got a digital display. That's new. Uh, we got a heads up monitor for speed. So it's pretty sweet. You click the button right down here, it engages the Super Cruise and the truck basically drives itself. You just have to be on like a highway or some sort of road with lines on it so it can pick it up. Uh, yeah, other than that, we got a new shifter. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Start button's down there. We got a sunroof. You can get the optional moonroof. We got the back seat there. 
Pretty cool. We got double, uh, yeah, double glove boxes. Those is that? Yeah, that's always been there. I think so. But yeah, here it is. The new display. I think. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can change the drivetrain over there. Two wheel drive, two high, four low, all that cool stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. And we have the trailer backup. I don't know if uh, you saw that, but what it basically does, if you have a trailer, uh, you just have to twist the knob instead of having to oversteer with your steering wheel. And that's pretty much it. But I don't know if you guys knew, but we uh, we do have Ford as one of our brands as well. So we're going to be selling Ford and GMC, which is kind of cool because we can all do it at one dealership. Uh, Maco is going to be in charge of that. We're going to be ordering some brand new Ford Raptors. These are 2022, so uh, they are like one year used, but I think I think they're like brand new off the lot. Nobody's driven them, so they technically are brand new. Just uh, they're a year old in the book. So yeah. We're going to be getting some Ford Raptors in here. It's going to be some competition with these GMCs. But other than that, it's been a good day. These trucks are great trucks. You know, let me know what you guys think of them down below. And that is going to conclude today's video at the dealership. Mako, you got anything to say? No, I'm just looking forward to start working here. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a great business. Uh, the location is amazing. I mean, what do you think about that? Elm Creek? Can't get any better than that. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right, cool. All right, uh, you're all good to go. Uh, what am I paying you an hour? Like 25 an hour? I think it's actually pretty good for you. Yeah. 25 an hour. Perfect. All right. Mako's well taken care of, so don't worry about him. He's got his brand new F450. He's got a 6.7 liter. He's got a dually. Check this beast out. He's got a drop hitch, adjustable drop hitch. All right, ready? Watch him floor. He's going he's gonna to fly away here. There he goes. That thing is huge. Wow. All righty. Perfect. Well, uh, I'm actually going to be driving home. One of these AT4 X's. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be my new daily driver. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Perfect. We gotta get some tuners on this thing so you can hear it like Mako's truck. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.